Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about USB powered hubs, uh, especially USB 3.0 or 3.1 or 3.2 or whatever it's called those days. We're going to talk about the ones that actually work with Windows 10. Hey guys, I'm Tech, Tech Driven and welcome today. We're going to talk about USB 3.0. Of course, what is it? So. There's a bunch of USB hubs out there and, and you know, if you saw my previous video, which you can see the card right here, uh, I was talking about the USB port, which is like a name name, with power switches. Um, this is supposed to be USB 3.0 that actually worked in older OS systems, older Windows, like XP and Windows Vista, and even some with Windows 7. Uh, however, with Windows 7, it did work sometimes, sometimes it just didn't, and well, it wasn't a, a reliable uh, USB hub. And but you know what? It's still for sale. People are still selling it for like about eight bucks. But you know, if you see those, stay away from them. It's just a waste of money. They just simply don't work. And the reason we're going into USB hubs is because, well, Windows 7 is is coming close to its end of life. So we are switching over to Windows 10. And the problem is that Windows 10 is not friendly with older hardware. And so the problem is we need to upgrade our, a lot of our hardware to, in order to work with Windows 10. And that includes our USB hubs. So another one I was working on for a while was the HOTO 7 port plus one charging port, which is kind of cool. Um, you know, you, you have your power adapter here for your for your power and a USB 3.0 connection super speed and It worked well with Windows 7 and even it works with Windows 10 However, I did experience problems when you're connecting all the hardware to this particular hub where they would freeze up or The ports would go bad and I have to restart the drivers and all that stuff and if you have a problem where the USB hub is disabled because of drivers, I think I have a solution for that and I'm gonna make a video regarding that really soon. I just wanna make sure that I find the exact location where I got that drivers from so that way you can go and get them. But anyways, going back to our USB hubs. So I was looking for one that will actually work well with uh, Windows 10, especially that Windows 10 uh, is the new Windows that we're currently using and Windows 7 is uh, coming close to its end of life. So um, I was looking online pretty much and I did end up buying the Amazon Basic USB hub, which is pretty cool actually. I didn't pay that much for it. It's, I think it was like around under 40 bucks. And of course they're claiming that it's a USB 3.1, which technically they're not wrong. It's, and they're not right either. So if you're not aware, they're changing the way the USB 3.0 was named. So a while back they changed it to USB 3.1, Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3. Well, now they changed that again to USB 3.2, Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3. And so this one particularly, even though they're claiming it's 3.1, it's, it's pretty much just regular uh, USB 3.0 or the new version 3.2, Gen 1, super speed, 5G. And so you gotta watch out for that. It's the new naming convention is, I, I think a lot of companies are gonna make, trying to uh, sell it up a little. So you get uh, pretty much the same hub for a lot more money just because of the naming convention. So that's something to watch out, especially uh, one thing might be beneficial is you will see if this is a sort of a uh, new hub with newer hardware that you might use. Uh, the reason I'm mentioning that is, so the trip light has the same thing uh, that looks exactly like as the HOTO, uh, except when I was looking at the serial numbers, you know, they don't have any information that the, the hub is failing any uh, for any reason. Um, it just simply works. So my guess is that either the firmware on this device is simply uh, shitty, the trip light has better firmware on the unit, or they're simply using maybe even different hardware inside, and they're just using the external box um, as a general. Uh, so we'll see. So let's take a look at um, our Amazon Basic USB hub. It's pretty much you get it. it comes with the school box, and even says USB 3.1. Uh, but I think what they meant by that is that you have an option of getting a USB-C connector cable with this box. 
so that's why they call it 3.1 but in reality it's just a single USB 3.0 hub so this is the hub itself and of course it comes with our USB um, 3.0 cable on one side AE as you can see here hopefully uh, we have a power supply which is actually uh, Chikoni brand which is, I, I think they're fairly popular and they're actually fairly decent power supplies and of course uh, power cable so this hub from Amazon basic is pretty nice I got the 10 port which is three ports are charging and the rest of the ports are actually USB 3.0 uh, and of course uh, comes with a power supply so I test this with Windows 10 it works really well and I hope it actually does work as intended and it's not my driver update that I did recently that fixed the issue work when it comes to using older hardware older USB stuff with uh, USB 3.0 so the USB 3.0 from Amazon basic actually works with Windows 10 I did test that across the two systems and I really hope it's the hardware itself is actually solid and then it's not the drivers that I recently updated that making this device work so if you have the same hub and you're experiencing problems with them uh, let me know so we can compare if the drivers that I have updated are the fix or if this hub in fact is working as intended and I think even though it's Amazon basic it's on the cheaper side um, I mean it's USB 3.0 there's not much to it it's not a new technology it's been around for a while so there's done the, that much that need to be implemented in it so I'm sure they just slapped their, their uh, Amazon basic logo on it and Hopefully they have decent firmware on it that actually rec is recognized by Windows 10 and works with Windows 10. And that's the thing, it's like, you know, the future is Windows 10. I love Windows 10. Um, but you know, Windows 10 has one major issue and that is it doesn't work well with all the hardware. So even though your USB hub uh, that you had for years worked well with Windows XP or Windows 7, it doesn't mean it will work properly with Windows 10. So anytime you're getting a new USB hub, you gotta watch out that you're getting new generation USB hub, even if it's just USB 3.0, it doesn't have to be USB 3.1 or 3.2, Gen 2 or Gen 3. It's make sure that you're getting a newer one, which hopefully has newer hardware or newer firmware on it that would actually work with Windows 10. So of course, if you want to interest in buying this USB hub, I have a link in the description, check it out. Um, and, you know, I do, it's affiliate link, so it helps with my channel out. And if you're looking for the drivers to fix probably uh, issues with the USB hubs being disabled or USB ports being disabled, uh, just subscribe. I should have a video out soon with the latest drivers that I found. But I believe that actually.